Let's talk about over voltage protection devices. Protection against voltage surges and spikes. Now they're designed to shunt current caused by voltage spikes away from sensitive components. We'll take a look at a uh, varistor here. Here's a symbol for it and you can see this uh, trace that they have on top and that's just this uh, voltage curve here. When the voltage gets to a certain point they start to conduct and they take that high voltage and short it, shunt it away from the uh, from your component. Now some of them were made out of silicon carbide and they contain silicon and carbon or carborundum and then they came up with these metal oxide varistors or MOVs and they're made out of zinc oxide. Now the zinc oxide ones have a smaller leakage current and a much faster clamping time. But they both dissipate energy as heat so if you try to dissipate too much energy through them you can burn them up. Now they can be connected in parallel to increase this energy and handling and they can be connected in series to provide a higher voltage rating. Now you can also use a spark gap. This unit here uses spark gaps. Now they do the same thing, they shunt this high voltage to, to ground, but these are susceptible to uh, the environment, to humidity, to dust, to even to uh, altitude. I'll, I'll put up a closer picture of that. And then we have these uh, gas dis discharge tubes, the GDS. Here's some GDS tubes here, and this is a symbol for them. Now, these are a good choice for uh, lightning, lightning surge suppressor. Uh, the uh, telecom industry uses these outside all the time. Uh, this is uh, this one here is for uh, it's a polyphaser. It's used for uh, uh, lightning protection on uh, antennas. These are basically a spark gap with an inert gas around sealed up around them. Then we have these uh, transient voltage suppression diodes. This is a, this is one here. We got a couple here, and uh, basically they're they're like a couple Zener diodes back to back. And uh, voltage gets to a certain point, they shunt the voltage away, and they also uh, dissipate energy as heat. Then we have a. Uh, thysistor here and that's what these units are down here now this is a symbol for it they're basically a um, two-wire triac and this is a nether symbol that you, they use for them this these packages actually have uh, two units in them and uh, they use uh, they have a crowbar effect and uh, for crowbar, it operates uh, by putting a short circuit across the output. So these just short out this, the, the line. So you need a fuse to, to back those up. Uh, these, these are actually uh, inductors here. Uh, then these uh, PTCs and NTCs, they, they look the same, but they're different. They're uh, therm thermosistors and they're... Uh, uh, more controlled with the uh, current going through them. So we'll talk about those later. But uh, those these are placed across the line, line to ground, neutral to ground, and they're used for uh, semiconductor switching protection and uh, contact arcing protection. And now, you probably instead of trying to make your own, even the manufacturers they just they just go out and buy buy units that are already made up. These units were all all made up units and that's uh, probably cheaper way to do it just to uh, buy the surge suppressor and put it in your in your project thank you